afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey and today is Wednesday, October the 2nd and we are over here at Cable Channel 3 and you can also get us on the web at sandylandcenter.org and more than that, come and visit us on the south side of the square where we always have a welcoming um, voice and a hot cup of coffee for you an interesting conversation on the topics of the day. Today's weather. The advent of the winter storms is up on us. Um, it's, it's over the greater Midwest because there are rain, showers, and thunderstorms across the region and that will be the case in the next few days. Um, tomorrow, Thursday, there's a potential of a severe thunderstorm with damaging winds, gusts, and hail. And there's also the potential of a tornado or so. Or isolated tornadoes could be in the making for Thursday. A colder air stream is behind um, the potential storm and um, that could change into rain over Friday night and Saturday. But for the meantime, it will be warm before the cold blast arrives, as the highs today will be in the 70s or 80s. But right now in the square, it is 74 degrees under very cloudy skies, with the winds coming in from the south-southeast, and the humidity is rather high, 95%. And for the next six hours, it will, we'll have these low clouds and some fog in some areas and poor visibility all over. Uh, as the clouds decrease though, through the afternoon, temperatures will rise rapidly with the winds coming in at 15 to 20 miles per hour. And that will bring the temperature up to a high of 86 today, but it will still remain partly cloudy. Tonight we could see the lows right in at 66 degrees with the humidity remaining still high at 85%. Um, but the sky should clear up some and the winds back down to about 16 miles per hour. Thursday we could see the same we could see the high at 89 and a nighttime low of 68 and it would be partly cloudy and windy again. And on Friday, could be a little bit cooler with the high at 84 and the lows at 44. In our community, we have no birthdays today, but I just want to remind you that the theme for the farm safety this year is working together for safety. And as you know, it's this time of the year as we get into the harvesting of the um, crop in the fall we have a tendency to have more accidents. And so we just want to, you to remember to practice good safety techniques on the farms and around the house, as there have been um, reports of a couple of accidents in our community. So the theme, working together for safety, and it's good for each of us to remember that. Um, we have a good report, f uh, the reading program that we talked about through the summer was a great success. It's been reported in the St. John News that the Dig Into Reading summer program was a great success with a record number of kids participating in the program. And um, the activity level was very high and the kids were rather enthusiastic about the reading program this year, the summer reading program. And over um, Sixty percent of the kids who uh, participated reached the, the target levels for the reading program. And the program was sponsored by the library and several people in our community. That's good news. I like to hear that the young people are developing the art and the love for reading and love, loving the books. Um, do mark your calendars. We have some dates for you to look forward to. October the 5th. Um, it's the Stafford um, Oktoberfest, and it's the fifth annual running of the Wieners. And it's going to start at 
3 p.m. on Saturday. And the proceeds for this are going to go to the Pawnee County Humane Society. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. So do call over at 620-545-4377 if you want more information as, as to how you can participate in the, um, the Wiener Run at the Stafford Oktoberfest. Also mark your calendars for um, October the 7th. It's the monthly potluck set supper at the Sunflower Senior Center. Bring a covered dish and there's always an interesting program um, that the seniors put on and it's good, good company and good fellowship. On October, that's Monday, October the 7th, the potluck at the Senior Center at 6 o'clock. Uh, mark your calendars also for October the 9th because the Veteran Service Administration Affairs Officer is coming in um, to the Stafford County Courthouse. He'll be there from 9 o'clock um, on that day and he will be helping veterans to file their claims. And I know a lot of veterans will need some help to do that and so if you have a special uh, problem and want some help in doing that call 620-662-7131 620-662-7131 and you can set up an appointment or um, to see the VA administration officer also mark your calendars for October the 11th. It's the Red Cross Blood Drive. This blood drive will be held from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Stafford High School. And the Red Cross is reminding us that October is the Liver Awareness Month and that patients um, having liver transplants, they have all transplantees they need a lot of blood they need many transfusion as they go through the process and there um, over 6,000 people um, that go th through a liver transplant over this year SFA for the year and there are over 10,000 people on the waiting list um, and when you do a liver plant transplant, you need a, a lot of blood because the liver is the one organ that um, is so important in purifying the blood. Uh, so it's very important that um, liver transplant patients have these 30 or more transfusions. So if you are able, please call the um, Red Cross at 1-800-RED-CROSS and um, separate, set up an appointment with them or just come on over at 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. to give blood uh, on this particular blood drive. Mark your calendars also for October the 10th. That's Thursday, October the 10th. Um, it will be lunch at the Pizza Ranch in Hutchison. The senior centers from the seniors from the St. John Senior Center are going to Hutchison on a, a shopping spree and they will be at the Dillon's Marketplace. That's a new Dillon's Super Center that they've opened in um, Hutchison. And they will also be at the Smith's Marketplace shopping. So the bus will leave um, St. John right at 9 o'clock and promises to be back at 4 o'clock. The cost for that trip is only $20. So that's a shopping and fun in Hutchison. Also, mark your calendars for October the 12th. And that's because the Cub Scout, the pack number 354, and the Boy Scout, the troop number 354, both together working, they will be collecting um, their annual food drive and they will be collecting donations and foods and toiletries for the St. John Food Bank. And they do a wonderful, wonderful job. And this Saturday, they will be hanging out the, the 
hangers that they hang on the doors and maybe new bags to collect the food. So please, if you have nothing in the um, storehouse, you can just go shop and have something to prepare for them or it's a good time just to clean out your um, pantries and help the food bank. It's a great work that the Boy Scouts do. And they will be distributing those flyers this week and collecting them on the 12th. So mark your calendars for those days. Um, we have some menus here for you on from the Maxwell Center. Today they're serving up some beef stroganoff with noodles and carrots and mandarin oranges. And tomorrow they'll be serving up some oven fried chicken, mashed potatoes, gravy, broccoli rolls, and an applesauce gelatin salad. And on Friday they'll be serving beef stew or chili, a tossed salad with green peppers, tomatoes and carrots, and a cinnamon roll. So that's at the Maxwell Center. And over here at the St. John Center, they'll be serving up steamed broccolis with baked potatoes, sliced tomatoes, and a green pepper salad, and um, milk and coffee as usual. And Thursday, it would be roast turkey, all gratin potatoes, seasoned green beans, and a ranch lettuce salad, and an apple pie cake. And on Friday, it should be quick Swiss steak, cream potatoes, seasoned Scandinavian vegetable mix, cottage cheese, a berry cobbler, and tea and coffee as usual. So very enticing meals at both centers. Don't forget if you need them deliver your meal, please call either center and they'll be happy to do that. And our thought for the day. People are lonely because they build walls instead of bridges. People are lonely because they build walls instead of bridges. So open the doors wide today and go out and build a bridge to a neighbor or a friend. Thank you and have a good day.